joining us on What One Thing. You're welcome. It's lovely to be here as always. <laughs> We're so excited about going to Las Vegas for IMAX America. Oh, good. So are we. Very excited. <laughs> and it's going to be here before we know it. But I wanted to talk about a couple of things that are going to be different this year. One of which is that you have human nature as the talking point. And I was wondering if you could talk to us a little bit about what that means and how it will help our Smart Meetings community put humanity back into events. Yeah, well, I think obviously human Human nature is a pretty broad topic and it can really encompass anything from EDI through to wellness, through to really just even focusing on how we as human beings achieve our potential and thrive. So all those things obviously are what we do as an industry when we bring people together to connect. That is also a core part of our human nature and that's obviously what we do at IMEX as well. So, I mean, one of the things we focused on a lot through the whole year, and certainly at IMEX America, are things like our EDI programming. So programming to really help people understand how they can create inclusive events. A part of that also is walking the talk, of course. So updating things like our code of conduct. We'll be launching a new code of conduct at the show. Also creating an accessibility guide for people so that and, and whether that's neuro accessibility or physical accessibility really making it easy for people who have a diverse range of needs to have a really productive but also enjoyable experience at the show so our accessibility webpage will go live soon and it even includes all the menus for example at the show so if you have dietary requirements or if you have a physical disability whatever it is hopefully it helps you to navigate the show and prepare for it better and then obviously as well um just thinking through as i said you know education around diversity inclusivity but also the other thing and i think we'll come to it in a moment is how you take a big event like imex and make it your own. And that as well for us is about focusing on human nature because we all have a different nature, a different personality. So to create a really inclusive experience, we want to create choices, but then hopefully make it easy for people to navigate the show and experience it in the way that will give them what they need out of it. So it's a lot there, but but th- that's really for us some of the things we focused on. There are, is a lot there, and you have some fabulous speakers. Are there some that you're particularly excited about? But yeah, many actually. There's so one of the things I think is going to be fantastic on Smart Monday uh, for associations. They have a session by a speaker at Edelman all about fostering trust. Um, for all of us, that's important, but obviously for associations that's incredibly important we also have tucker bryant who's one of the keynotes he's on smart monday as well and i was just reading an interview with him and his bio and it's so interesting the poet's take on innovation and creativity so i'm really excited about that as well some of our team are going to be on the show floor in the inspiration hub we're talking about everything from our tech journey to our rebrand so hopefully people will go and have a look at those Um, And then we've also, like we did in Frankfurt, we're going to be working with Google XI and the new project. And they're going to be running a number of sessions as part of the Inspiration Hub. So again, talking a lot about inclusivity and fostering belonging. And then finally, really looking forward to the Encore Break Free experience. They're doing a sort of a new experience from last year. And again, they link very well with our storytelling. I mean, there's so much and we've got some fantastic formats like our filmmakers club the book club um event profs unplugged is a brand new format so we you know i'm also looking forward to those because it'll give people new experiences or new ways to access education that isn't just a a talking head fabulous and you mentioned the rebrand you have that fun new logo that really makes people the center of it with the handshake and the m 
Exactly. So for us, that is a part of human nature and really bringing the brand and what we do, which is connecting people together. So we like to talk about being more than a trade show. But I think with this, we kind of show we're a trade show with a human heart. And that's kind of that handshake is at the center of it. So you you've seen a lot and meeting professionals have been through so much in the last three years. It's just been this roller coaster of no meetings and then so many meetings. So what I'm seeing is that meeting professionals are just so stretched for time. They're working with lean teams. They're managing more meetings than ever with more complexity than ever and being asked to do so much within them. How does a hosted buyer like this help them to be more efficient and just really get in there, get business done and come out with what they need to be productive? Yeah, so we are very aware of those pressures on everybody uh, within our industry. And I think, you know, coming to a show like IMEX, because of the choice that is there, you really have the entire industry under one roof for those three or four days and the entire global industry as well. So if you put in a little bit of planning, you can really make it a really efficient experience, whether you're there for one day or four or five days. And I think the key really is to come knowing the outcomes you're looking for, pre-planning that a little bit, going through our exhibitor directory and utilising our schedules, which have been upgraded now. So you can really plan your whole life at IMEX, if you like, through the schedules. Because what you can do is book your meetings with exhibitors, but you can also book in your uh, or save in there any exhibitor events or networking events or education sessions that you want to go to. And that will all be placed in the same schedule. But then similarly, if you make an appointment, say, offline, like, you know, with somebody else, you can block the time in the schedule at the right time and put notes in and you can utilize that all in one place through the app or even export it into Outlook or Gmail. So we're really kind of making it as efficient and easy as possible for people to plan their time. So I would highly recommend people utilize that tool for what it's there for. One top tip if people haven't noticed is that new this year, we've got an our interactive floor plan. So you could also make your meetings from the floor plan so you can also plan your day more efficiently rather than people always say oh my goodness I put that meeting at that time and immediately after another one and they were at opposite ends of the hall so we've been working on that for a few years to integrate all of that and so now you can also make your meetings from the floor plan and, and plan each day per area of the hall if you like and then the other thing I would just say to people is we've got a really broad wellness program so again that comes into navigating the show in a way that is appropriate for you. So whether that is sort of high intensity exercise or mindfulness moments, or whether it's learning about how to incorporate wellness into your own programs, we have that whole spectrum there. And I would really recommend people take a look at that as well and build into their IMEX experience a little bit of time for themselves so that they can be fully energized all day, really get the most out of it and hopefully enjoy it as well. Karina, on behalf of attendees everywhere, I so appreciate that you're thinking of those things. My poor feet at the end. I mean, it's it's literally the biggest event in our industry. It just keeps seem to get bigger every year. I am looking forward to seeing all the cute tennis shoes with suits and dresses that we're going to see this year because we started last year and I know it's going to be a thing this year. Definitely. I think it's great, isn't it? It used to be that people were tottering around with high heels on a concrete trade show floor and I really love the trend that teams come in their branded uh, sneakers and, you know, I think that just goes to where the industry is going, which is we're all busy but we're, we want to be inclusive and we want people to experience our events in a way that suits them, that doesn't break them. You know, we want people to come to IMEX or any industry event and have an awesome experience. And that means that you've got to experience it in a way that allows you to be at your best during those meetings, during those networking parties. And if that's 
wearing sneakers or if that's taking half an hour out uh, to do a yoga or meditation session, it's just as important as the business and the networking that you'll do. In fact, you'll do that business and networking better as a result of it. So that's what I would really encourage people to think about when they're planning their time because you've got all day. So, you know, you can make the most of that. Yeah. And and I love how the wellness opportunities have just grown. You've got the the uh, IMAX run, you've got the, the healthy food on the floor. Yes, absolutely. So yeah, the food options, that's very important. We have increased the number of cafes. We've really focused on healthy food options, sustainable food options as well. And also just, you know, hopefully a good variety for people. Um, so that's been a really important focus for the team um, this year. And as you say, there's a variety of wellness activities. We have uh, Google XI are creating a relaxation lounge. We have the wellbeing wheel on the Inspiration Hub. And one of the segments of the wheel is actually a really immersive VR experience. So you can go, put the headset on, have 10 minutes and you, you know, hopefully feel really refreshed. Um, but then we have also PCMA Foundation doing a hit session and we've got an IMEX run. So there's hopefully something for everybody within that whole spectrum of activities. And if nightlife is your thing, there is still rendezvous and site night and all of those things. Exactly. So there's plenty of fabulous after hours activities and the exhibitors, as always, are putting on fantastic receptions on their booths and utilizing the whole spectrum of Vegas brilliant activities and new experiences. And actually on that, we also have some great tours taking place on Monday. We have a tour of the Sphere, which is a back of house tour. So I'm sure that's going to be popular. We've got the MGM Solar Array where we take people out into the desert and through on the bus journey, you know, talking about sustainability and what MGM do and and how you can make your event more sustainable, but also then sunset in the desert uh, and seeing, you know, that solar array that they have. We've got Area 15. So just, you know, a huge number of experiences that people can take advantage of. Fun, fun, fun. Well, this is called What One Thing. And so I'm going to ask you, what one thing do you hope people will take away from this? When they go back to the office, how will they describe this to their colleagues and friends? I think we would just hope that they describe IMEX America as just the most fun, rewarding experience that they've had this year. Love it. Love it. Anything else you wish I had asked you? I think that's, I think we've covered everything. There's obviously lots more if people want to go through the exhibitors that we've got coming. They can see all of that on the website, all the educational sessions. Again, everything's up there. So um, nothing else. Actually, sorry, I remembered one more thing. For first timers, we've also got a web page dedicated for first timers on uh, the website. We've got some tips and tricks for them. We've got little guides. We're doing an on-site tour. We've got a webinar for them tomorrow. So if you're a first timer, I would encourage people to look at that. And of course, we just published an essential guide that has all kinds of information to help you plan your time there and make the most of every single minute. Absolutely. And that was a fantastic guide. So thank you for that. (laughs) Thank you for working with us. I look forward to seeing you in just a couple weeks. Absolutely. See you then. Safe travels. Bye-bye. Smart Meetings, What One Thing was produced by Bright Business Media. Visit smartmeetings.com to subscribe to your daily dose of inspiration. 